it is such a difficult topic at the moment, numbers being thrown around. From a player's perspective, what would you be happy with? Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it, it's, there's so so many questions around it at the moment. And I think the, the issue that um, is facing, I suppose, everyone is that there's not a lot of answers at the moment. And that's across the board, um, a, a, across um, all industries and we understand that a lot of people are suffering so I think we just need to calm and, and just wait for it to play out a little bit um, before we we start judging and, and having opinions of, of players um, that it's been touched on I think like um, we spoke last week about players being selfish because we wanted to play as much as a season as we could but in saying that the players were having discussions around well who's affected if we don't play um, 22 games or we stop playing? And we understood that there'd be a huge job loss rate. So we were coming from a different angle as well, but we got labelled as selfish because we just wanted to protect ourselves. But we understood that there was going to be ramifications for not playing games for a lot of staff, staff that have been laid off this week that have um, ties to footy clubs for years. And we we understand the situation that we're in and um, I don't think there's a quick fix to it and I don't think the constant commentary on it is going to help that situation. It sounds like you're doing it as tough in uh, (laughs) social isolation as as everyone, mate. I think the young fella's sick of you talking about money by the sounds (laughs) of it. So so take us through some of those conversations that that have taken place, Tom, and the... I think the, the criticisms, and, and I was a player as le- recently as two two years ago, so I know that this is a fight that publicly it, it's almost impossible to win. Do, do you understand when when the AFL have, have come out and said 17 and then the players say, no, we want... Do you understand at least publicly why some people would have interpreted it the way they did? Absolutely, because I think... Um anyone would interpret it that way if they didn't understand the situation, the conversations that have been had. If they just said, well, the players want to play 22 games and they're just looking after themselves. But I think we've got to remember that the conversation was around, okay, we've got 40 40 weeks. Can we stretch it out? Can we get... um, Is it possible, I think, was the question that we we sort of probed back towards the AFL. Is it possible to get that that situation? And um, it's such a difficult time for everyone. We understand that, like... There's no one doing it easy at the moment. Um, probably the richest person in Australia is no doubt doing it tough. Um, there's people that are on the street that are doing it really tough. So it's important that we um, recognise that first and foremost. Um, I understand what you're saying, Nick, about the, the players and um, just automatically go into 22 games. But I think the conversations around that will come to light in the future. But the detail of it, it wasn't about... Uh, do the players just take a, a pay cut? We want to play 22 games so that we fill our own pockets. We understand the ramifications by not playing games that affects so many um, people, affects members, supporters. It affects everyone in the community because they can't go to games, they can't support their team. Um, there's, there's huge losses across the board and, and we were just pr- probably probing the question to see if we could, if there was a potential for us to play as much footy as we could and, and hopefully keep people in jobs. Um, I think... Everyone wants to get back to normality as quick as we can. And, and the, the way to do that is to follow the government guidelines that are being given to us and get the social distancing right and, and not have scenarios that we had at Bondi Beach last week. I know that's completely off topic um, where we're going, but I think everyone wants to get back to normal life as quickly as we can. And, and the only way to do that is to, to listen to the government and, and get on top of this um, situation as quick as we can. And to be clear, the, the, the sentiment around playing 22 games... Oh, I totally get it, and, yeah. and I understand it. I, it was more, it was a, it was a battle that I just don't think the the players were ever going to win. Tom, Nick was talking before about pay cuts and what they should be in line with. So whether the players should take a same cut as the AFL, whether the AFL, being the ones responsible for saving the game, basically shouldn't be taking the same cuts. What would you be comfortable with? Yeah, it's, it's a really. Um topical debate there's no doubt about that I think something that is fair and reasonable for all parties um, something that gets us to a point where the game survives 
and we can rebound really quickly once we get back out there and start playing. Um, what that final figure is, I'm not privy to the conversations. I'm not sitting in the meetings with the AFL. I'm not sitting with the AFL Players Association on the board or anything like that. So to, to sit here and give you a direct answer, Sarah, to that question, it's near impossible for me to do. Um, I think we just want a good, in a good outcome for everyone um, in this situation. And we understand that we're probably lucky in the position we sit because we, we potentially will still have our jobs and livelihood when we when we get back to playing, um, which is hopefully not too far away. And there's people out there that have got it far worse than us. Looks like you're in a small room there, Tom. There's not much in the background. There's not much <laughs> happening. You're, you're how many days deep into the 14-day self-isolation since you've crossed back into the border of, of South Australia? And what are you doing with your time? Uh, day three, Kingy, so um, it, it hasn't been too bad so far, but I think day five, it's going to really start to hit. Um, it, it's definitely hard work. There's not a lot to do. Uh, the days are filled with uh, reading or entertaining Jack as best I can. Um, How old is Jack? Jack's, Jack's your son? Two, Jack's my son. He's two and a half. Um, oh, so ouch. He's <laughs> right at that age where... <laughs> I've actually got him one out at the moment. His mother's gone to work, so I've uh, I've got him one out, and he was supposed to have his nap an hour and a half ago and hasn't, so he's overtired. <laughs> That's going well. Two and a half year old at the moment, <laughs> as you heard him just yelling in the background before. So we're just trying to fill it as best we can, and uh, we've come up with a few different things, a few different ob obstacle courses and stuff. But yeah, she's hard work. But if you if you just as before we let you go, if you could have a message, Rocky, to to the people that are, that are out there that are listening that have been really critical of, of the playing group, what, what would it be? Oh, I'd, I'd just say um, to them, guys, I, I understand that um, the anger and hurt and the situation that they're probably in, I don't think anyone wants to be in this situation, but I, I would just ask them um, if they could reserve their judgment and abuse almost until we just get through this and it's completed in its entirety. I think you look at the playing group, and I think Jack even mentioned it last night. Um, Jack Rewalt, that is not my son. If he was talking about it at two and a half, <laughs> it'd be a bit worried. But <laughs> mentioned that players, players were lauded as being such such good people for raising eight and a half million or whatever it was for the bushfires. And um, I would say that most players are really good people, and we're coming from the right right place. But it's just going to take a little bit of time to get through and. We aren't being selfish. We're not just thinking about ourselves. There's there's a lot more to play out here, and, and let's just hold our commentary until it's completed, and then you can then you can have your comments on it. And and if you believe it to be selfish in 10, 12 weeks, then then you believe it to be that, and give us the feedback then. But at the moment, while they're trying to work through it, let, let's just reserve our comments until it's completed, and then we'll go from there. Good stuff. Thanks, Tom. We'll, we'll let you go and put Jack to bed. <laughs> Jack, your son, not Jack Rewald. Does he have daytime naps, Jack Rewald, Mick? Uh, I th you know what he does? He's a day napper. He <laughs> He's a day napper. He is. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can't and he can do a day nap. Yeah, he could sleep for Australia, Joe. All right, Tommy, thank you so much. We'll let you get on Good luck, Rocky. Uh, Daddy Daycare. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Cheers.